I want to see some positive stuff. I'm sick of looking in the paper and seeing nonsense and not seeing positive stuff where people are banding together to help one another. We can change it, you know? At least we can say we tried to change it, you know what I'm saying? has some of the best water in the state and in this area. The problem is that water is always jeopardized. About 70% of the footprint of the city of Newark is pavement, parking lots, buildings, residences. It's what's considered built infrastructure, great infrastructure, which is to say that it doesn't allow water to naturally permeate through. We have an old infrastructure. We have piping that is lead-based. We have old homes, reservoirs that are open that we have to close. What happens with our storm sewers, which were created hundreds of years ago, is that they get overwhelmed very quickly. Our litter from the street, oils that come off of our cars, is going into the water system, and it's ending up in a bay that's used as other people's drinking water. Those catch basins or storm drains at the corners of your blocks, they collect the rainwater but they eventually end up back into the waterways. There's over 7,000 catch basins throughout the city. Newark DIG is a coalition. DIG stands for Doing Infrastructure Green. Folks came together because they are passionate about using green approaches, about using sustainable, environmentally friendly ways of managing stormwater. It's very important that we use water and consume it in a way that's efficient and effective. It's all about being very, very careful and mindful of how you are using water. We kind of take it for granted that every time we turn on that tap, something's going to come out. But if we don't take action now, one day we might turn on that tap and nothing may come out. Education is the key. Exposing people to understand how small actions can lead to a bigger impact. Do you really need to buy a bottle of water? Or can you use the recyclable bottle that you have at home? Every building has a downspout. You can place a rain barrel underneath there and harvest rainwater, which you can use to plant a garden and water that garden. Instead of creating an impervious driveway, why don't you put in a garden, a rain garden? Why don't you put in something green that can absorb a lot of the rainwater and it'll be something that's also beautiful? Glitter gets into our sewer systems. It clogs up our water supply. When you get done with a wrapper, put it in trash. When you get done chewing your gum, put it in trash. All these things at one point make their way to the water. The interesting thing about green infrastructure is that a lot of small changes have a big impact. We're inviting residents to receive free rain barrels and be part of the solution. We're also inviting folks to adopt catch basins and to sort of monitor the cleanliness of the catch basin. Another part of the program actually includes planting trees because they're, you know, the most ancient form of stormwater management. We ultimately are responsible for our water quality. It's the things that we do on a daily basis that ultimately affect our water quality. Every single decision you make has a large impact on the whole. You are all the change agents that will make Newark a thriving community. My kids are ready to participate in this city with whatever needs to be done. It's really exciting to actually work in a place like Newark because there's so many people who are so deeply passionate about the city, about making us everything we could be and we can be. All roads lead <laughs> to the city doing their part. You gotta get out there and be involved. That's how you gotta handle that.